So hello guys, welcome to Max Opacity. In today's tutorial, we'll be recreating this short animation from Johnny Harris' YouTube video, Our New Global Economy. So let's get into it. So inside of After Effects, I have prepared this background I'll be using from GeoLayers. You can use any other vector map you want to use. And it's just a background it's an indian and pakistan just highlighted and also i've already imp i've imported some of the assets we'll be using this computer chip here and indian's flag and a medicine these are icons both of these are icons but i downloaded them in png form so let's get into it so the first thing we need to do is create uh, an octagon that's a shape with eight sides so you're going to go down to this polygon tool here and I'm going to hold down shift then so that it draws from the middle and also I forgot let's go back and you're going to have a fill a white fill and a stroke of one pixel you can make it two I'm going with one I'm just going to do that again hold shift and do this like this then go back to my selection tool and reposition it then next we're going to make it a proper octagon then I'm, I'm going to go down to my polystar go down to polystar part here then make this it then still inside my polystar part I'm going to go down to the rotation and make this around 20 so that it's flat on but it's not perfect you can realign it whenever you want and that's okay so I'm going to name this oct1 or let me leave it now, rename it when I want to pre-compose them. So I'm just going to duplicate this layer here. So duplicate it into three. Like this. I'll bring this one. Click on. I'll bring this one to the left here. And this third one to the right here. And then for this last two I created, I'm going to bring up their scale and make this 50. Yes. Then reposition them again. Just where we want them to end up animation like this then after you've done that next i'm going to go into my assets and bring in this indian flag here place it in the middle um, scale it down a bit then i'm going to bring it down to the layer we want to and we want to put it on so i'm just going to take this pick whip here to and make the track mat make it the track mat of this our shape layer here so you can reposition this to cover how you want it to be I'm just going to rotate this flag a bit. I think this is okay. Then to bring back our stroke here, I'm going to duplicate this shape one here, put it on top of, bring it on, then remove the fill effect. Remove the fill effect. Now we have this stroke over it. But again, I want to make the stroke kind of round. So I'm going to go to the polystar part and under this uh, outer roundness here, I'm going to make this around 45 now we have some sort of roundness to it and i'm going to do the same thing for these two below here but before i do that i'm going to pre-compose select this and this and pre-compose them and i'm going to name this oct top So next, I'm going to bring in this asset here. I'm going to bring this chip and place it in the middle here. Then bring up the scale and make this six. Then reposition it so that it's in the middle. So this is a tutorial. So you need to take your time to reposition it and do it well. So I'm just trying to speed through this. Then I'll bring in the second asset and do the same thing. So I'm going to leave this. I'm not going to track mat it. I'm just going to leave it like this. It's okay with the white background. That's how I want it. And I'm going to reposition them to where they're supposed to be. Okay, they're already there. So I'm just going to select both of these, recompose this, and name it Oct Left. So this is the octagon on the left. Now we can move on to the next phase of our animation. But before we do that, if you want to support me, if my videos or my tutorials have been helpful in any way, please you can support me on Patreon or buy me your coffee or if you can't just like and subscribe 
to this video and it will really be helpful please i really need that and thank you the assets and the project file will be in the description below i'll link i'll put a link down there for you to download it so next i'm going to create a new a new stroke this will be two pixels with no fill so i'm just going to click here here and here now we'll have this shape here so i'm just going to go down to the search bar here and type part to reveal reveal our part here then once the part is selected go down to windows then scroll down to create nodes from parts and click on it now we have this window here so just simply click on points follows now and we'll have three nodes created from this three part from point one to three here and that's it i'm going to bring this shape down below first the next thing we're going to do we're going to identify each of these nodes and parent them to each of this octagon here so this here is our null on the right so i'm going to leave it on top there then this is the null on top i'm going to bring this then this should be the left one then quickly parent this to this this to this and this one to this one then when we move our null you see that our path follows it and the stroke also extends so that's it then next i'm going to to do the quick animation this is going to be quick i'm going to select this here and bring up the position then go forward a bit doesn't matter i just an example here and i'm going to create a keyframe here then go forward a bit like this then push this nose down so it depends on how far you want to push them can even push them off the screen so that oh and this keyframe here should be behind because this is where we want the animation to end so i'm just going to do it like this so and again something we need to do i'm going to go back to the beginning of my timeline here and open up this shape here and add the trim part to this so for the trim part i'm going to make it 100 here then move this keyframe forward so for this first keyframe here i'll make this 50 then 100 here then also back to the second keyframe here i'm going to select make another keyframe for the start here then i'm going to make this 50 then go forward and for here for this one for this start value here i'm going to make this zero again okay. so let me play this back for you to see so now you see it looks like it animates then posing the animation so next thing you need to do is just add a quick easy ease to this and go down to your to your graph animation here So now you can play around with this, play around with every other thing. You can maybe make this, oopsie. You can bring it up a bit and so just play around with it. I fucked up in this last one. So thanks for watching and if don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and also support me so see you in the next tutorial